Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how to conditionally format Power BI table. So Power BI table uh, is mostly used whenever you are creating reports and dashboard and having it conditionally formatted will going to make it more visually appealing. So in this video I will show you very quickly how you can format the Power BI both from the perspective of let's say you want to format font or you want to format the background because both of these options are easily available within the settings all right before i move ahead and show you just a quick information that this sheet is present in the description where you can quickly search any of my previously created video or if i create uh, when i create a new videos i will keep on updating that like i'm doing it right now and all those videos links will be present here so that you can quickly jump to the particular video so you can keep this as a bookmark to your power bi learning all right shift to the power bi so here we are within the power bi and previously i have shown you how you can add these labels or oh, sorry these bars so i will go into the sales and uh, what i will going to do is i will going to remove data bars so now the remote data bars are removed so that we can easily set the formatting so i'll again go there in the conditional formatting let's change the background color so you will see that background color format style is gradient so i will change this to rules because we can specify clearly the rules over here based on some of sales and some so rules is what if it is one um number make sure yeah this is perfectly set up otherwise you may face an issue so if it is one to let's say hundred thousand <clears> then it is red and we will add a new rule in this case again hundred thousand number uh less than one million then let's say it is yellow and if it is more than one million one two three four five six and 20 million let's say <clears throat> then oh sorry it's two million basically so anywhere between one million and two million so it is one million just want to capture that yeah one million and two million then it should be let's say blue and this should be number and click ok all right so now you see that what's happening over here we have this red categories wherever the value is between one to hundred thousand then you have some of these values which is in the yellow category uh, however what i should get is 1.49 million no this is 149000 i think it is in um, using the indian basically comma system that's why i was wondering whether it is 1 million so no it is 149528 so it is following the uh, rules correctly so to get an impact again what we can do is adjust our rules a little bit so conditional formatting we can go again and go to background so one to hundred thousand and maybe what we can do is from hundred thousand to two hundred thousand uh, we can say that it is and from two hundred thousand i think we just have a couple of values to three hundred thousand so we say three and we remove this one and we from here i think we remove this so one two three four five so good just want to make sure that no issues one two three four five okay perfect so now what do we have is is basically those values now you see we did not specify anything for 328 that's why it is keeping it as background as white so this this is very useful in scenarios like this if we are missing anything we again go back and change this to let's say four and we should be all good 
So based on whatever we need, we can specify this. Similarly, as an exercise, what you need to do now is go here in conditional formatting. In the font color, you specify the same setting. You need to apply the similar type of settings like for with using the rules, all those rules which I mentioned, and change the font color. So that way, you can then practice the formatting of the background or the formatting of the font based on the needs that is arising. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.